so in this episode we're going to turn a bottle stopper but what we'll do is we'll practice a little bit on the lathe for those of you joining for the first time uh, I just recently got a lathe you can check out all the stuff that I do on my channel just all sorts of things um, furniture decor carvings there's music there's uh, we have a show a, a live show called the Mad Maker Show So a bunch of a, a bunch of a bunch of things, but um, so I'm practicing. I figured let me do a combination. So I went of two different skills. I went and turned the basic shape for a bottle stopper, and then I took that and carved. So let's show you what I did. Oh, and by the way, the music that you'll hear, I wrote that. It's called Grim Reaper. So here's what we're gonna do. I drilled a hole in the cork, and I got this blank. We're gonna make a bottle stopper. So I ordered a chuck. I said to heck with it. I need the chuck, chuck. In the meantime, I'm gonna mess with this. We're gonna try a cork bottle stopper. Here's the carbide tools, Bob Lee's. I haven't made the handles yet, but we're gonna go ahead and try a little bit. Alright, so this is way too long for a, for a bottle stopper. And I might be able to use some of this, so I'll just work over here. We'll mark on this section here for the end with the little dowel that's going to fit inside the uh, the cork. Just playing around, see what happens. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and use the Dremel to carve out the shape. It's going to be a skull. It's kind of, it turns out at the end kind of macabre looking because of the walnut. It's uh, such a dark wood and um, as you carve into it, you get darker areas. But it came out pretty cool. You'll, you'll see how it looks in the end. Um, so I'm using this little wheel here to grind out um, the shapes of the jaw and the chin around the head, the cheekbones, and all that. Um, for this bottle stopper, I did have the issue that I didn't foresee at the base after the dowel that goes inside the the actual um, cork. Well, I I, I could have used a, a ring just below the, the chin, you know, a little bit of neck and then the chin, so I went back and actually um, reused from my earlier project, The Lady with the Hat, I had those leftover rings and I had to drill into those, or I went and drilled into those and glued the dowel through that 
so it had a base. You'll see how it looks at the end. But um, yeah, pretty cool. A uh, mix of turning and carving, power carving. Alright, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, if you want to keep up with what I'm doing, just press the bell, subscribe. I'm going to go and do what I got to do. I'll see you guys next time.